So now we know that what is the meaning of the word electrolysis, but now we will start from the definition of electrolysis. So children what is the meaning of electrolysis? The process of breaking or breakdown of an electrolyte into its constituents due to the passing of electricity. Now this process is known as what? This process is known as electrolysis, electrolysis. So what does this process say children? It says that when the current is passed uh, the electrolyte what is electrolyte? That solution which is filled up in the beaker. So, it gets divided into its ions. So, this process of division of electrolyte or this process of breakdown of electrolyte into its ions is known as what? Electrolysis. That means when we took AgNO3 in this solution, AgNO3 got broken up into Ag and NO3. So, this is what? This is electrolysis. And the solution AgNO3 is what? Electrolyte. So, now we know that the breakdown of the electrolysis into its constituents into its ions is known as electrolysis. Now, what is electrolyte that also we know that the solution which is filled inside. Now, uh, is there any use of this process electrolysis? Do we have uh, uh, some important uh, applications of this uh, process electrolysis? So, yes definitely this process of electrolysis is very very important children. So, now we will talk about the applications, applications, applications of electrolysis, applications of electrolysis. So, what are the uses of this process electrolysis? What are the applications of this process electrolysis? So, children there are few important uses. Uh, so, the first one is in refining the pure form of metals now or I can cut it short and I can just write that in uh, you know uh, in the refining of impure metals into the pure one it is one and the same thing I can make it shorter. So, how it can be done in refining of the in refining of the impure metals into pure because all the metals uh, are not in the pure forms they have to be purified. Uh, take the example of the uh, silver so it has to be refined. Now second one extraction. extraction of metals from their ores from their ores. Now, take the example of the aluminum. So, it is present in the you know uh, has to be removed from the, uh, the different forms of the aluminum sometimes it is formed in the form of the oxides and some you know. So, it has to be extracted from there. So, extraction of metals from their ores. Now, third is electrolysis. The third use of electrolysis is what? Electroplating. It is electroplating. 
this is the third use of the process electrolysis. Now, what we are talking about we know now what is electrolysis the breakdown of the electrolyte into its constituent ions due to the passing of electrolysis uh, elect electricity this is known as electrolysis. Is this process important definitely this process is very very important in what this one is important in refining of the impure metals into the pure one to remove the metals uh, you know extract the metal because the metals uh, when they are uh, taken out they are not in the purest form. So, refining is done extraction of metal has to be done then electroplating. Now, what is this word electroplating? Now, how can we define this electroplating? So, now we will talk about this process electroplating. Now, children, just now we have read that on the copper spoon the silver got deposited. So, the deposition of one metal on the another object or metal is known as electroplating. So, how can we define this term electroplating? So, the process of or the deposition of the deposition of the desired metal we want that metal particular metal we may use uh, silver we may use gold uh, we may use chromium uh, for different different reasons. So, the deposition of the desired metal deposition of desired metal on any other object with the help of with the help of electricity because if electricity is not passed then this deposition can also not take place. So, what is electroplating children the deposition of the desired metal on any other object is known as electroplating. So, uh, here we have read what is electrolysis the breakdown of the electrolyte into its constituent is electrolysis. Why is it important? It is important in the refining of the metals, it is important in the extraction of metal and it is important in the process of electroplating. Now, what is electroplating? The deposition of the desired metal, the deposition of the desired metal on any other object. So, why electroplating is done children? Where it is useful? So, it is done in two cases to increase the life of the object to increase the life of the object. Now, take the examples of the iron, iron is very strong we know that the gates are made up of iron, the bridges are made up of iron, iron is also used in uh, the buildings, in the windows, in the doors, but iron has got only one negative point that it get corrodes, iron get corrodes is not it. So, iron is a reactive metal iron is a reactive metal see iron is very strong iron is very strong but only one problem is there that it corrodes it corrodes means what it is reacting with what air and water and a layer is formed on the iron uh, and that layer uh, due to that layer the iron will be eaten up iron will be damaged totally. So, a covering of less reactive iron is more reactive and is more reactive and so it is reacting with air and water. So, a layer of a layer of less reactive metal a layer of less reactive metal on 
मोर रिएक्टिव मेटल सो आयन इज मोर रिएक्टिव एंड सो अदर लेयर हैज टू बी देयर ऑन द आयन व्हिच कैन प्रोटेक्ट द आयन फ्रॉम कमिंग इन यू नो कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर now this one is suppose iron piece when it will come in contact with air and water it will corrode and if we deposit something on this if we cover this iron with this some another thing so strength is there it is made up of iron it is very strong and now iron cannot come in contact with the air and water because this iron layer is covered by some another uh, substance and so this covering of iron will help iron from uh, getting corroded so one is what to increase the life of the object or to increase the durability durability of the object now second to increase the beauty to increase the beauty of the object so why how the beauty is increased now a very common example uh, take the example of the sink the basin uh, the spoons the cutlery uh, even you know the uh, the uh, the brooches the uh, you know the belt that part is there steel part is there and even certain uh, show pieces these are not made up of silver children the tabs that shines like anything and it even do not corrodes it do not react uh, with uh, air and water it do not corrode it doesn't get spoiled but are they made up of silver are they made up of silver no sometimes if you have seen the very beautiful golden uh, taps are also available so are they made up of gold or what no not at all so what because on those uh, taps things maybe the buckles of the belts uh, you know uh, some uh, uh, quality that means some other metal is coated on them electro plated on them for two reasons one to prevent them from corrosion maybe and the second to make them look more beautiful to increase their life isn't it so what is electro plating electro plating is deposition of one metal on the another metal a desired metal on the another metal now suppose i have got a silver uh, jewelry but i don't want to wear silver jewelry so what can be done you know the silver jewelry can be electro electroplated by the uh, gold and it will look like gold because it is electroplated by gold so gold is there on that gold uh, uh, layer thin layer is there on the uh, silver jewelry so automatically it will give look of gold jewelry so all these things you know the basin the sinks the watches the tabs the uh, uh, brooches the buckles uh, uh, sometimes maybe the uh, you know the the part of the grills the part of the you know even the gas gas shines like anything so all these are not made up of silver and gold on this some metals uh, electroplating is done so that it looks more beautiful it shines beautifully so this was the application of uh, electrolysis electroplating is application of electrolysis what is electroplating the coating the coating uh, of the desired the deposition of the desired metal on some other substance while electroplating is done for two reasons to protect the inner metal here we are protecting iron to increase the life of the object other the sentences are i am forming but the meaning is same to uh, increase the durability of the object and the second is to increase the beauty of the object now we'll talk little uh, more about electroplating that how electroplating is uh, done on few objects and why it is done so we'll talk about that please note this points so we were talk talking about the applications of the electroplating 
and we discuss that how electroplating can be useful in various uh, things like maybe for the protection of the iron and uh, for uh, you know maybe for the decorative pieces. So, uh, we will just write this in very very short applications. of electroplating. Now, what are the applications of electroplating? First is for decoration purpose. For decoration purpose means that there are certain you know uh, many a times many uh, show pieces which are made up of the metal which is not so uh, bright which is not so shiny and so it is not so beautiful. So, make that particular show piece very beautiful and attractive certain uh, you know metals are used as an electroplate for electroplating so that that particular objects. Uh, so, that particular object looks beautiful. So, definitely if a certain uh, object are there which is made up of brass it would not look so beautiful. So, if it is electroplated with some good metal shiny metal then definitely it will look more beautiful. Now, second is for the better finish. these two are almost almost same point. Now, to give be better finish and this is take the example of the silver. If uh, silver ornaments are uh, used it does not look so attractive when it is compared with the gold ornaments. So, definitely the coating of the gold on the silver ornaments will make it more beautiful it, they will look more finished. So, now to give the better finish. Now, third one is to protect from the corrosion. Protection from the corrosion. So, this we have studied that in case of iron, if we have to use the iron to uh, its fullest uh, strength then we need to coat the iron with an another metal which looks good shiny beautiful at the same time it also protects the uh, iron. So, what should be the quality of the uh, metal which is used for uh, electroplating that also we will be discussing. Now, the fourth point the fourth is in electro deposition. Now, what is the meaning of this electro deposition? Children here you know for the repair of certain machines it becomes really difficult to uh, repair very uh, minute and precise parts. So, uh, it is not possible to do that minute uh, maybe in this you know certain parts which has uh, made very finely. So, many a times you know even to increase the thickness of the uh, uh, part to increase the thickness of the part of that machine uh, that deposition of the uh, another metal is done and that is known as electro deposition that means uh, to increase it is done to it is used to increase the thickness of the part of the machines part to increase the thickness what is this? This process is electro deposition. When the uh, it comes up to the machines, the repair of the parts of the machine, and which parts? Children, very small and very precise. You know, precise in the sense I mean to say that where very fine uh, work is required, it is made very finely. So there, to increase the thickness of the machines parts or of the parts of the machine electroplating is done. 
electroplating is done and this is known as electro deposition. Now, so all these are the applications of the uh, like you know electroplating, but then what metal uh, should be used? What is the criteria of selecting the metal? What decides like what are the uh, strength or what are the important points which decide that yeah this particular uh, metal is very very useful it can be very very supportive and it can be a very very useful for electroplating other metal. So, when uh, electroplating is considered the uh, metal which is electroplated suppose on iron some coating is done. So, what has to be done first of all it should be very shiny it should not corrode it should not get scratched very easily yes. So, it should be cheap easily available yes it should be easily available it should be cheap also cheap means uh, see cheap means it is not always necessary it depends upon the uh, the reason why the uh, this electroplating is done. See I will talk about this in first case when the iron is uh, electroplated or when the objects like sinks, the basins, the uh, brooches of the uh, bells, the buckles even all these are electroplated you know the, the bridges, the parts of the bridges, the grills, the parts of the windows and the doors uh, when all these and even you know vehicles the parts of certain vehicles which are open when these things are electroplated definitely then the cost has to be low it should not be cheap it should not be very costlier. But you know when it comes about the finish when it comes about the silver jewelry which is coated which is electroplated with the gold. So, definitely gold is more costly. So, it depends for what purpose are you using. Yes, so cheap or uh, this I am not I am just putting over here that this works only in some special condition it this this cheap word works always in a certain condition easily available. So, again these all points work in certain conditions you know. So, when we I am talking on large scale when electroplating is done on the cutleries and you know all these items. So, it has to be cheaper also. Now, the plating of chrome is not possible for all the objects because it goes little you know it is little costier. So, in that way now, uh, but at least it should be shiny it should be you know uh, it should not get corroded that means it should not be more reactive it should not be reactive it should not get scratched easily. So, all these things are there which is kept in mind when uh, electroplating is done. Now, one more thing is there any negative aspect of electroplating is there any negative aspect of electroplating, but before going to that we also need to know that how electroplating is done. So, this again this beaker is taken in this the electrolyte is taken this is electrolyte. Here two anodes are two uh, electrodes are taken the one which is connected to the positive is obviously the I am drawing two rough diagram. So, the one which is connected to the positive that, that will be definitely anode negative that will be cathode is taken and obviously, the battery and the bulb and the rheostats are taken. 
now the thing which has to be the object which has to be electroplated has to be cathode only the object which has to be electro see the things which are very very important for electroplating so first one the things which are which has to be electroplated needs to be uh, we need to make it cathode now first uh, it's not always uh, same with all the substances all the objects but still first of all it is washed with the alkali so that the grease comes out i need to write all these points so i'll rub this and then again we'll continue this point so there are there are few important points so the object to be electroplated the object to be electroplated has to be cathode now what is second point first it is washed with alkali washed with alkali so that the grease and all such impurities comes out then washed with acid so that the oxide comes out and then washed with water till all the acid is removed very very properly first it is washed with alkali so that the dirt and all comes out acid so that the oxides comes out and then it is washed with lots of water so that it becomes free of acid now after this it is used as the cathode now next important point the electrolyte which is to be taken which electrolyte has to be taken or electrolyte has to be of what metal which we need to get deposit on the cathode it has to be a solution that that metal has to be that in the sense what in the sense like suppose we we want silver to be deposited over here so we can take agno3 over here first point we can take agno3 in the solution in the solution agno3 is there so that it will break up into agno3 now anode has to be of that metal only which we need to be deposit which we need to deposit on the cathode so anode has to be anode has to be the pure metal which we want to deposit now electrolyte should also have that metal so electrolyte should also be the solution in the solution of electrolyte that metal has to be there or else it won't divide and it won't be uh, like na that ag won't be able to get deposited over here so it should be there in the electrolyte electrolyte also should be there in electrolyte also so these are the important points which has to be taken care of so what we are talking about now we are talking that first of all we discuss that which kind of metal do we prefer to use for the uh, process of electroplating so it has to be shiny it should not get corroded that means it should not be very reactive okay then it should not get scratched very easily and uh, the cost depends upon the intention with what we are doing it if we want the metal to look very expensive suppose silver on uh, gold on silver so it has it ha it will be expensive only it the cost will be high only okay now uh, what is how the electroplating is done a uh, beaker electrolyte two electrodes circuit is set now cathode is what on which the electroplating has to be done that 
has to be cathode that has to be connected to the negative end of the circuit first point. This electrolyte should have that particular metal suppose we are talking about silver we want silver to get deposited on this cathode. So, what has to be there in this solution the silver has to be there anode has to be of that pure metal which we need to deposit. Now, what will happen A G NO 3 this we have discussed it will break A G will get deposited here on the cathode and this pure anode which is made up of silver pure anode or anode which is made up of pure silver will get dissolved again in the uh, electrolyte and the uh, amount of electro uh, amount of A G in the electrolyte will remain same. So, first of all it is this uh, electrode has to be uh, the electrode which electrode the cathode on which the depositing has to be done it has to be cleaned up very nicely sometimes it is washed with alkali to remove the unwanted point uh, uh, you know things sometimes it is uh, washed with acids then it has to be washed thoroughly with water so that all the acids or alkalis comes out. So, in this way the electroplating process is done now now we will come to the last part of the topic or the chapter which is negative part negative part of the or negative of electroplating negative part of electroplating. Now, children what can be the negative part of the electroplating see this electroplating is very very harmful for the environment strict rules are made that electrolyte you know the solution after uh, electroplating is done cannot be just thrown away like that only it needs to be treated and if it is not done if the solution is not treated it can be very dangerous for the environment. So, very thing first thing is that it is harmful for the environment harmful for the environment it is very harmful for the environment and this uh, can be reduced only when honestly this uh, before it is uh, the electrolyte and all the solutions are thrown out and the it becomes a part of the environment it needs to be treated. So, that the danger can be reduced to some extent. So, first is harmful for the environment now you know you know actually what is happening see take the example of the chrome. Now, actually the chrome plate is not so harmful the plating of chrome is not so harmful, but for uh, electroplating of chrome you know electroplating that means when the chrome is electroplated. So, chrome acid chromic acid is used actually. chromic acid is used and now this chromic acid is very very dangerous. So, uh, you know the acidic solutions are used definitely. So, in acidic solution this becomes more dangerous. So, chrome plate is not uh, so harmful as when we compare it with the um, chromic acid. So, the chromic acid is the one which is very very harmful and this chrome plating is you know uh, is used very often very often it is very perfect for electroplating because it does not scratch it does not corrode it does not reacts with air and water it shines like anything. So, all these features uh, make uh, the uh, chrome electroplating very easy and useful and you know the procedure also uh, differs the procedure differs in the sense you know the uh, while electroplating the process of electroplating with chrome is quite easy it does not create any problem it is quite easy and it is practical and so chrome electroplating is done uh, you know majority this plating is done still it is done it is very useful. But the thing is that the chromic acid is the one which is very very uh, harmful it is dangerous for the environment. Now, it is dangerous for the environment at the same time you know uh, this is a carcinogenic also what is the meaning of carcinogenic?
carcinogenic means cancer causing. So this, these are uh, all these kind of solutions are also carcinogenic that means for children these are responsible for the spread of cancer also. It can lead to the spread of cancer means it can be uh, one of the reason of the cancer. Now the second uh, uh, problem is you know very uh, uh, as uh, we say that with every kind of profession we, we are talking about industry. Uh, like when, when we talk about leather industry, when we talk about uh, tobacco, when we talk about the crackers, when we talk about the matchstick, we know that even in call all kind of manufacture in, in the you know, manufacture of all kind of these kind of things, the labor, the person who is working in the uh, you know the factories, they uh, have certain severe uh, you know. Uh, uh, that uh, diseases. So these are known as labor diseases that means the one which are working in electroplating uh, such kind of uh, chrome in the factories. So you know chrome ulcers are very very common chrome ulcers. Now there is no place to write children. So chrome ulcers are the one which is uh, very very common. Uh, so uh, the, these are what and many many more diseases are there there is no place to right now so which uh, comes due to you know uh, what due to what when the workers are working in the chrome industry so this all has to be uh, taken care of has to find out certain solutions so which can uh, prevent you know the chrome ulcers and the uh, chrome soles and all such kind of diseases souls. so uh, if we talk about the overall uh, usefulness of the electroplating this is very useful no doubt. It plays very important role uh, because all the things cannot be made up of silver and aluminum and uh, gold and copper also because these metals are very costly very costly. So in place and uh, iron is very good but the weak point is that it get corroded it get it get corroded you know. So there has to be some alternative some cheaper metal uh, or some vice versa sometimes the inner metal is cheaper and the upper metal the metal which is which has to be electroplated is costlier. So we won't talk about the cost but uh, some other metal is used electroplated on those metal and so that those metal can be protected can become shiny can look more better and beautiful. But uh, while doing all these things the factory the, the one who runs the factories also need to work upon or also need to remember that these solutions are very very harmful and need to uh, take care of whatever is possible and is there in the law. So this is all about the chemical effects of current and the in A standard the chemical effect is in very short. Uh, most of the time we have just discussed lot of experiments and through experiments we have come across uh, certain conclusions. So this is all with the chapter chemical effects of the current. Uh, thank you very much and now we will be discussing the question answers of the NCRT and a few more questions. Thank